Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I'll be using the 2023 Aranya Planner from Happy Wagon. And I'm also share a few other ideas as to how you can use this planner because one, this is so, so pretty. Two, I really love the functionality of it and it does feel like an all-in-one planner. That means like whatever spreads you need in order to plan your life, it is in here. And also it's quite versatile. So you can adapt it to different areas of your life and it's going to work absolutely perfectly so yeah let's get started with this video if you're new here hello my name is Sanjana and I upload videos almost every single day related to planning personal development stationary products and all that amazing stuff so if that's something that sounds interesting to you then do consider subscribing also many of my viewers haven't subscribed to my channel yet and if that is you you're coming back to my channel for watching more than one or two videos then please subscribe as well well okay let's get started with this one like i said this is absolutely beautiful i really love the theme i loved even the botanical story one that they had for uh 2021 2022 that was great as well in fact those designs are available as undated planners. So if you like that than this, then definitely go choose that on the Happy Wagon website. Also, any products that you want to buy from them, I have a 10% discount link. You just need to use that link to make your purchase and the code automatically applies during checkout. So that's something I wanted to mention as well. Anyways, let's go through the pages that we have. I am going to be using this particular planner as my personal journal and I'll get to talking more about it when we go to the daily pages but for now we are going through the yearly pages. We have this year at a glance, this is amazing. Uh, I personally don't use it apart from referring to dates but in the past there have been planners in which I've used. For example, when I was doing my post-graduation I had a planner, I think most planners have year at a glances and I was using to track my schedule, like when do I have exams, when is my semester beginning, and uh, when do I have holidays, any quizzes, any assignments that are due. Just, um, I would color code, I would have different markers for that, and just highlight that particular day. For example, yellow can be holidays, uh, blue can be exams, you know, those kind of things. That's absolutely great to do it. Uh, you can also use this as your work planner for that. You can, you know, track your leaves or any meeting dates or um, any bigger dates that's not really, uh, that doesn't happen throughout the year. For example, you know, performance reviews that usually happens twice a year, you can put that down. Uh, you can also write any leaves, advanced leaves that you have planned and all of those things. If you're looking at advancing your career, you can mark on the dates wherein you're working on something that will help you to develop yourself professionally. So you can do that as well. Then you have the special dates and occasions and note to self. If you're using it as your main planner, I think it is great to write, um, you know, birthdays and events and all of that. But if it is your um, study planner, you can probably put in your academic schedule, like semester schedule. Um, if it is your work planner, you can mark the dates, you know, works have some events. If your work depends a lot on that, you can mark those days. And do all of that for me personally i'm just gonna white out this and use this page as a journal or something or uh one thing i thought about was because goals for the year and vision for the year is right next to each other i was thinking one i can do it as my goal setting uh page and the other one as vision page since this is not my main planner i'm not gonna sit and create a vision board or create a goal setting my 2023 goals spread i'm gonna be using this as my personal journal so i'm just gonna journal about what's going on in my head regarding my goals and regarding my vision i'll also talk about the difference i think some people get confused between the two goals and vision i'll talk about that when we get to the monthly pages because even in there we have goals and vision pages so that's great uh, you can use that or if you don't want any of these things in the planner for example you know if you are a student you might not have January to December schedule so you really don't want to set goals I remember when I was a student I liked setting goals okay what's my goal for the year when I am doing my second PU or when I'm in my graduation first year things like that 
I definitely prefer that. So in, if you are using it like that, probably you can use it semester wise for semesters and what do you want to do or um, you can also do it month wise for each semester. You can see what you want to do. This is like a month uh, one and two, three and four. You can do that as well. Then uh, the same goes for if you're using it as your all in one planner, definitely take all of the uh insights or anything that you get while you're doing your research regarding goal setting vision of the year you can do word of the year that is something that i'm going to be doing in uh, a video that's going to be coming out this week and then you can also do quintessential plan you can do your dreams for the year all of those things that's really amazing in case you're curious go check out my 2022 uh set up planner set up videos in that i have done all of those spreads and i'm going to be doing uh, very similar spreads for 2023 as well so come back to videos this week then you have this milestones setting page i think this is a page which you can use to very like in different ways even in those categories for example you can use it as it is milestones and because i'm going to use it as my personal journal what i'm thinking i'll do is um, every month in the beginning, I didn't do it for January because I didn't know what I want to use this pride for, but I was thinking it'd be nice. Okay, January, what milestone do I want to take off in terms of just what's going on in my life? It need not uh, be in relation to the yearly goal that I'm setting. It might be something else. Just at the beginning of the month, I want to give myself the freedom and the space to think about it then rather than pre-deciding everything at this point in time itself. But other than that, you know, you can, uh, if you have, let's say your, uh, one of your goals in your career is to create another source of income and you want to start a business or you want to do something that brings in money, probably start freelancing. You can set your milestones for the year. I think uh, when you're working on big things like that, like career change and, uh, getting an income source, that's more sustainable. I think, um, making money in small different ways temporarily is it is fairly simple than something that you are trying to set up that's sustainable that can support you over the next decade or something so what you can do is give yourself a year okay this particular year i am gonna give myself to start a business like not even get it up the crown but uh to really see okay what idea do you want to do uh how do you want to create the business how do you want to save for the investment all of those things give yourself a year to figure that out you might be feeling like okay that's just too much but trust me it's okay that's a goal that you're setting uh, with the intention that you have now if you want to move faster you can move throughout the year that's not a problem but just to set the intention you can give yourself a year and add the milestones that you want to track um, with your uh, students and stuff like if you're a student and you want to use it as your student planner you can add the goals that you want to achieve that particular month or uh, let's say you have you're in a final year and you have your campus selection sometime in March or uh, September that time you can write, okay, August, my milestone is to uh, apply for these many jobs, you know, not completely rely on campus recruitment. In July, I wanna finalize my resume and probably March uh, or June, I wanna take up career coaching or something like that. Whatever your main goal is, see how you wanna set milestones for that. Or you can add picture of the year, you can add highlights of the month, like after the fact that it has happened, you can come back and add it here. Then we go to the monthly pages. I've already started using January and because this is my personal planner, I don't really wanna uh, show that because it's just journaling that I do. Let's go through one of the months, uh, probably we'll go to June and then I'll talk about the monthly pages in here. So each month we get a beautiful illustrated pages. I'll do another video showing uh, all the illustrations, like monthly cover page. Probably as I'm thinking this year, I'll start doing more short videos, you know, Instagram reels, but I wanna keep it a little bit different, not completely repeat what I'm posting on Instagram because some of you guys follow me on both the platforms. So I wanna keep some content, not everything, but some content exclusive to YouTube itself. Um, in that I'll probably do 
this video anyways we have this monthly calendar here it's amazing i am amazed that in such a small planner they've managed to keep the monthly uh, calendar pages in a very functional way i see that some people what they do is they put a small calendar and then you have lines uh, to write it uh, it's in a, it's in different formats but monthly calendar this is my favorite format because one you can clearly see the days and you know if you want to refer to any dates you can do that two because of this appointment boxes it is quite large like i said considering the size of the planner you can write any events that you want to write any highlights that you want to add work related stuff add your paydays meetings deadlines of projects uh, if you're a student, then add your quiz dates, exam dates, anything that you need to keep in mind from a picture of the entire month rather than every single day. So important things, you can add that here. What I'm going to be doing is I probably will add, you know, those small stickers that you get, heart shaped ones or uh, uh, circle stickers. I don't really like I haven't used them quite a bit. Uh, till now i've started incorporating it here and there but i have so many of those stickers so i'm thinking i um, on the days that i journal i'll come and uh, just add a dot or a heart or a star on these pages another thing that i thought about was writing uh, a word that depicted that particular day this particular journal i use it at the end of the day so i just write about what happened that day something that's going on in my mind so i thought i could uh, use a word to describe that particular day but that's just gonna be too much for now probably I can try that in a future month for now I'm just gonna be adding those stickers on the days that I journal I think it'll be nice to see uh, the consistency and it'll be like a nice reward then we have the goals for the month and vision for the month so yeah i have heard that few people get confused between the two what i would say is personally this is something that i follow goals for me i like it to be action based something that is sort of in my control 99 percent in my control because you never know uh, what might happen but yeah 99 percent in my control vision is something that is a result of that particular action i am going to take like the action that i'm gonna basically the end result of the goal that i am working on an example that i can share is um, social media in the beginning like everyone else i was wrapped up <clears throat> excuse me i was wrapped up in thinking about how many number of followers do I want. And for the longest time, I was obsessed with having a thousand followers. And it just got really disappointing when I thought it's not moving at the speed that I wanted it to. Then what I did was a few years, a couple of years back, I decided, let's chuck that idea. Let's chuck that idea. I would want a thousand subscribers, but let's focus on something that's in my control, something that I can do. Yes, it does depend on your actions, you know, your results, but it's not completely in your control. There's a lot of other factors that goes along with it. So I thought, okay, I am gonna publish these many number of videos in this particular period of time, like in a month. One of the first things that I did was I did a 30 day personal development challenge where I decided 30 days, I wanna post 30 videos talking about different personal development topics and that challenge set up a great foundation for what i am doing right now with the number of videos that i'm producing so that really helped me and your vision for the month for that would be to achieve a thousand subscribers or for the month it might be uh, reach 500 subscribers you have uh, some more time that you have given yourself to go so basically this is something that is in your control vision is something that you want it to happen as a result of the actions that you're taking you can also add things that is like you're not uh, focusing on 100% right now. For example, in May, you might have given interviews and for June, your vision of the month might be, okay, get that job. You've already taken your actions there. You're just waiting for the results. Something that you wanna 
let's put it this way something that you want to manifest in your life add it in your vision something that you want to actively work towards that you're actively working on in that particular month add it on the side of the page for me what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using it as a journal itself because i like to set up my monthly goals and stuff in my a uh, regular like main planner so i'm just gonna journal about what's going on in my mind because there's just this pre-thought pre-goal setting conversation that goes on in my mind like what do i want to work on i can probably do this i used to do that in my like, journal itself this is a plain notebook that i have but i have no restrictions about what i can write or how much i can write i just there are days where i've written one page there are days where i've written 10 pages so I used to do that here, but since we have this page, I think it'll be nice to do it here itself. Vision, probably I can bring in a few images. Uh, so that depicts the result of the goals that I'm working on. And then we have this monthly dashboard page. I really like it. I didn't use this a lot last year, but this year I'm thinking I'll use it. Reminders uh, for school uh, or like college and uh, work and stuff that'll be nice to add work reminders for me because I'm using it as journaling and I know a lot of you people are using it as journaling too I thought I could add a nice quote like that uh, that would be a reminder for me for that particular month for example one of the quotes that I'm really liking is what is yours will find you so that's just a nice reminder to give yourself and then uh, top priorities uh, you can add what's your focus for this month what I'm going to be doing is uh, something that I want to do and most of this will be in the journaling format for me I'm not going to be decorating it a lot because there's already so much going on and I really love how pretty it is so most of it will just be a black pen and journal probably I'll bring in a few stickers if I'm interested and I have a little bit of time that day habits to adopt habits to quit I'm going to be using these sections as it is as well but you can use it as you know uh, in Tatiana's planner a lot of you like the project planning page you can use these as that just replace these headers use a white out washi tape I mean stickers and then uh, replace the header and project one two three four I can write your uh, exam schedule you can write your study schedule you can do all of those things in here habit tracker I wasn't using it I think it'll be nice um, idea for me I'm thinking about uh, something that is just going on in my mind something that I'm trying to be intuitive and mindful about things like uh, this month I'm really focusing on I'll talk a little bit more about that in my intention setting video for 2023 but this month I'm focusing a little bit on self-respect and um, maintaining healthy boundaries so I can mark on the days that I did it and it's not something that I would necessarily want to track but I think adding it here and also my goal is not to get check marks on all of these days it's just that I think it'll be nice to see okay it's great I did it I did it every single day I'll be a little bit mindful about that I think that would be nice let's see I don't know how that's gonna work probably sometimes with habit trackers I feel it just complicates and I get fussed up about on the days that I haven't done instead of being happy about the days that I have done it so if that's gonna happen I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it I'm not gonna be using it but you can use it on the habits that you're working for example if it's work I had this um, when I was working at an office I had this thing I was lucky enough to choose my own hours like not varying drastically but I could pick uh, my own hours and I used to do seven to four shift and that was awesome because most of the people would come to work around 10 o'clock and I had this three hour or at least two hour nine people would start coming in I had these two hours to myself and that really helped me to get uh, to increase my speed when I was working on tasks and it was just awesome and also at the end of the day I had a lot of time that I could use to work towards other goals in my life so something like that you know reach office by 7 a.m you can you can do that water <laughs> water is another thing that you might uh, miss or you know taking adequate breaks making sure you're going on walk in the middle of the day when you're working because you're just sitting down all of those things yeah you can do that books to read movies to watch I just want to keep these sections as it is as well I'm gonna write any book that I'm feeling like reading or a type of book that I'm feeling like reading or a movies that I want to watch lately I've been really enjoying uh, crime related or thriller movies I'm like okay this this month I want to watch more thriller movies so 
this I feel you'll get a little bit more intentional about the media that you're consuming. And it's not just random. Then we have this monthly expense tracker. This is amazing. I feel tracking your expenses uh, from the time you want to become a little bit more intentional about your finances to the time you're extremely good at it. I haven't reached that place, but uh, I have come a little bit far along than where I used to be a few years back. What I have noticed is tracking your expenses is the key. It is just the key. Whether you create you're creating your monthly budget or not, that is secondary, at least that based on my experience. But writing down or tracking it in an Excel form or something, whatever works for you, do it because it is a game changer. And I love that there are so many entries here because many planners have just like five lines or something. Like we all have more than five lines of expenses. So you can do that in here. For me, because this is my personal journal, it doesn't really make sense. If it was, if it didn't have any columns, I would have probably used it for thought for the day. But since I have columns, it's, I have thought about it, like using it in different ways. It's just got too complicated for me. So I'm just gonna ignore this page and move on to the daily pages. But if you are the one uh, who wants to get a little bit more intentional, I know that is something that you don't wanna hear. I didn't want to hear, I didn't want to track my expenses. I want to prepare my budget and all that, but I didn't really want to track my expenses. But guys, that's that's the most important thing. Okay, then we have the daily pages. Self-explanatory, you can write down the things that you want to get done or anything that's going on in your day. For me, I just write about whatever is going on in my mind. I journal about it and so far, so good. I also used this as a journal last year and worked quite well. I debated using this planner in different ways, but because it's so pretty, I really wanted to use it as a journal. And you have all of these daily pages. Also, this is not a weekly planner, by the way. It just goes, continues uh, with the days. That's nice. Um, in 2020, my phrase of the year was one day at a time, not focusing on monthly planning or yearly planning, but just to take things one day at a time. And it really worked. Uh, I was using the Inkpicket 2020 planner and that had it that was more a daily planner too and that worked quite well. So it's great if you want to take things one day at a time. Then you have this monthly reflection pages, accomplishments month and reflections plans for next month. I feel these prompts are very simple, straightforward, to the point and nice. If you're someone who's just beginning, it's amazing. Start off with it. For me personally, I have found that this is quite sufficient uh, that you can do. Or you can do like, what do you uh, wanna start? What do you wanna stop? What do you wanna continue doing? And all of those things. Then this year, I feel like they have included extra notes pages. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think in 2022, we just had one notes page for each month, but this year we have a few more. I uh, can think of a few things. For me, I'll explain what I wanna do for journaling first. I'm thinking anything that stands out in that particular month, any memory or any major thing that happened, I wanna dedicate these notes pages for that. Uh, for example, New Year's Day celebration, or if I'm having a birthday, or if I go on a trip, I can journal about that um, in here. And then if you are a student, what I would do is in the notes pages that I had in my uh, planner while I was studying, uh, I would write down like let's say the professor is explaining something and then I suddenly remember I'm like okay this would be a great idea to include in the assignment or uh, I can use this particular idea in like I I take up entrepreneurship as well as marketing in my post graduation so in my marketing classes I'm like okay this is something that I can experiment with my YouTube channel things like that if you're getting any ideas you can write that down while I was uh, at an office job and I was using a no notebooks, just notebooks as my planners. You know, there are some times where you're just thinking about something else, like completely unrelated to office. So you can write all of those things down or you can use these as your meeting notes pages. I personally like to have a separate notebook for meetings uh, because that EMS planner doesn't have monthly notes pages. So I do that in there. You can use this as um, meeting notes too. I think these many pages are plenty for that. So we have all of these things. Uh, in the end, I think there are a few notes pages, probably, yeah, 
this goes for you have one two three four and five you can do your pre-planning for the upcoming year that you can write your here yearly highlights and stuff i think what i'm gonna do is this year i experienced that um i felt really overwhelmed with new year goal setting that's the reason you're not seeing videos from me yet regarding new year um goals and intentions and all of that so uh, i want to be a little bit more mindful for 2024 in 2023 so i think it would be a great idea to start journaling and thinking about a little bit in advance and setting some ground rules uh, for example not comparing myself to the people who are setting goals um by january 1st and who are working there on their goals from january 1st itself so all those things i'm thinking i could journal in there i am so happy that i could add this planner to my planner lineup this year as well i hope they don't make any changes for next year because this just works so perfectly i love this size the quality is extremely well made the price point is pretty good and do i even need to talk about the designs it's just so pretty colors every single thing I absolutely love it so let me know how you are planning to use uh, the aronia planner for 2023 you might be using it for something else apart from the ones that i mentioned do let me know in the comments below and also i hope you found this video helpful all of these tips and please give it a thumbs up if you did and another reminder to subscribe if you haven't already thanks a lot for watching today's video guys I will see you in my next one. Bye.